This is pothole season in much of Canada. The cycle of freezing and thawing is hard on our roads and even harder on our vehicles. The city of Montreal has this problem every year, but there's a twist this time around. The city is having trouble finding companies that haven't had their reputations damaged by allegations of corruption. Our Mike Armstrong explains. The city of Montreal didn't have trouble getting companies to bid on repairing potholes. The problem was when it looked at the winners. It chose seven companies, five of which have scandal swirling around them. They have all had their names come up at the Charbonneau Commission, the inquiry looking at corruption in the awarding of public construction contracts. It has tainted a lot of reputations and many are saying to get the potholes filled, the mayor's hands are tied. Those are the companies that supply asphalt in Montreal. There ain't many other companies that supply asphalt. Where's he going to go? This isn't a situation the city can solve by going, say, to Ontario. Trucking asphalt a long distance would be extremely expensive because it's so heavy. It also has to be applied when it's still hot. Either you pay more to get your supply from somewhere else, or you buy from companies that have been mentioned at the, at the Charbonneau Commission. So the city is in a big dilemma. The mayor himself filled a couple of street cavities last week. Now, worth noting, Michael Applebaum took over the position last fall when his predecessor resigned after being named at the commission. Well, the mayor is holding a public consultation. He's put up an online poll asking whether the city should do business with the companies or, as of April 15th, simply stop repairing potholes. Do you want us to fill these potholes or not? And this result, of course, will be given over to the different members of the city council so that they can understand how the citizens feel. How's it going to look a month and a half from now when streets are closed because they're too cratered and potholed? Bus routes are detoured. There's general pandemonium. A lot of people are saying the city is likely going to have to bite the bullet and do business with the companies. The provincial government has told it to go ahead that if laws were broken, there will be prosecutions. They'll go to jail. But let's not have all our cars and buses wrecked. The province says right now there isn't much choice. Potholes have to be filled. And better than this, Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.